one-of-a-kind event, the Bassmaster Superstars Tournament at Peoria, Illinois, on the Illinois River. The legends of bass fishing, past and present, here to compete for over $155,000 in awards. You'll recognize the names and faces. Nine-time BASS Angler of the Year, Roland Martin. Four-time Bassmasters Classic winner, Rick Clun. Jimmy Houston, twice the Bass Angler of the Year. Bobby Murray, the 1971 winner of the first Bassmasters Classic World Finals. 1972 Classic Champ Don Butler, the very first member of Ray Scott's Bass Angler Sportsman Society. Two-time Angler of the Year, Gary Klein. An elite group, only past Classic Champions, Anglers of the Year, and 1993-94 tournament winners on the Bassmaster Tournament Trail are invited. The icons of bass fishing. Larry Nixon, he's won it all, including over a million dollars in BASS paydays. 30 of the greatest bass anglers, all superstars. Back-to-back -back Angler of the Year and former classic champion, Guido Hibner, a popular favorite with Peoria fans. 1987 classic winner, George Cochran, a tough river fisherman. But every angler here has impressive credentials. Former world champions, Tommy Martin, Villas Bo Dowden, Paul Elias, Jack Haynes, Jack Chancellor, Ken Cook, Stanley Mitchell, Charlie Reed, Robert Hamilton, all great classic champions. And the up and coming new stars Kevin Van Dam, Jay Yellis, Tommy Biffle, Davey Height, and every Bass and Pan's newest superhero, David Fritz. Over the past season, David won the classic two BASS Tour Tournaments and ran off with the Bass Angler of the Year title, any and all of which qualified him for his first Superstars. But he's not the favorite in this tournament. Defending Superstars winner Denny Brower and runner-up Hank Parker are picked to battle down to the wire again. Brower won the $50,000 top prize in Superstars 1 by a margin of only 15 ounces. There are other new faces here to watch. Veteran pro Guy Aker, Mike Terry, Alan Armour, Mike Bingham, and O.T. Fears, who all qualified with Bassmaster Tournament Trail wins the past year. But river bass are hard to predict, and conditions are much different for superstars, too. You'll learn how the best of the pros fish a river system. Stay with us. The Bassmasters will be right back with first-round action from Superstars 2 at Peoria, Illinois. I cannot believe that. That's probably a $50,000 bass. I don't know how that happened to me. I guess I'm so nervous. A river runs through it. Peoria, Illinois. The city that believes in down-home hospitality and treating visitors like guests. Site of the Bassmaster Superstars Tournament. For sure, the big boys of Bassin feel right at home here. Superstars 2 is back in Peoria and playing better than ever. Yes, this time a river, the Illinois, runs through it. Things are back to normal. When Superstars played here in 1993, the big flood had the river out of banks and beyond. Superstars 2 will be a thinking Bassmasters tournament. Strategy will be a key. This first morning, defending champion Denny Brower motors north, upriver from Peoria. His decision is to fish the Peoria pool rather than lose fishing time in locking to the lower limits of the tournament waters. Anglers making the big run south will give up almost three hours of fishing each day in travel and downtime in the lock. In a three-day tournament, that translates into a day's fishing. Brower's winning weight in June 1993 was 28 pounds, 14 ounces. But water conditions are not the same. Now, believe it or not, this year with the lake being low, you would think the exact opposite would be true, that you'd have quality water everywhere. And I have not found water as clear in places as what I did last year. Some 60 miles south of the Peoria launch site, Hank Parker and several other contenders are fishing a ditch-like slough off the main river. Bass are stacked in this mile-long ditch. It seems like you can fish a big area just about like we did last year and not catch any fish and then find all your fish pretty much concentrated in a smaller area. Jay Yellis located the same productive ditch in yesterday's only practice round and is working on a five-bass tournament limit this morning. 
In the dirty water conditions, David Fritz is using a chartreuse colored spinnerbait and trailer with gold willow leaf blades. For most of the morning, David has fished a 200 yard stretch of bank within sight of Hank Parker. The spinnerbait seems to be the key. The bass are feeding on shad, which are also plentiful in the ditch. O.T. Fears, an experienced river angler from his days on the Mississippi and Arkansas, is sharing the bath chute ditch with Hank Parker and others. This morning, O.T. boated a quick limit and is trying to better his 10-pound-plus creel. A two-pound average is considered good on Illinois River largemouths. I think it's going to help me, any. Hank Parker is throwing his signature model classic spinnerbait, the lure that won him the 1989 World Championship. The two-time classic winner retired from competitive fishing, but still enjoys a special event like the Superstars. And he's more serious than he's letting on for our cameras about winning this tournament. <sighs> Lost it. I have $50,000. That's the second big fish I've lost. Fish would have weighed three pounds. Defending champion Denny Brower is fishing inside a small marina harbor at the town of Lakin. As expected, Denny's flipping a jig, his favorite lure I'm and in presentation. A small area here, and I've almost worked through it. Now, do you take the time to work back through it, or do you, you know, make another 30 mile run, try to find another place like it? The guy can get that limit each day. I think he'll do real well in this tournament. At the day one weigh-in, numerous five bass Here limits come to the scale. Defending champion Denny Brower among them with eight pounds, 10 ounces. But superstars, too, may come down to who gets the big bite. B-team, that's what they call a kicker. That you get five bass and one of them swells up to about three pounds or bigger. You have just moved into what they call high cotton. You are now leading the tournament. We haven't weighed them yet, Ray. You are still leading the tournament. Here we go. When the weight, 10 pounds, 8 ounces, he takes the lead. For sure, one big bite can make a difference, but two right bites can make a big, big difference. How many fish? Five bass all alive. Watch the scale, folks. We may have a new leader. We do. 11 pounds. Careful, 12 ounces, there he is, you leave it. I'll tell you, those are big pounds. Jimmy Houston, twice the bass angler of the year, is the basser of the day. He leads Superstars 2 with 11 pounds, 12 ounces. And what a leaderboard it is. O.T. Fears in second place, followed closely by the likes of Rick Klun, Hank Parker, David Fritz, and Roland Martin. Defending champion Denny Brower ranks 10. Stay tuned. The Bassmasters will be right back to see who gets the big bites and wins the big bucks. Superstars, day two, and all 30 anglers hope Ray Scott's prayer is answered. Father, give us a great day of fishing. Thank you for the good morning. Let us all catch a limit and let them all be big. Amen. I went last in my fly yesterday. I should have got to go first today. <laughs> Tournament leader Jimmy Houston is fishing north of Peoria, within 10 miles of the launch site. It's a short run compared to the hour and a half trip downriver for those anglers going south. Jimmy's got time on his side, but does his spot hold enough fish? Those other guys have really got the, got the deal, though. He can go in there and catch a limit that fast like that. And this is a pretty good little size little spot right here. It could hold enough fish the last three days. And it doesn't get too crowded. Ha, 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 ha. I believe he's big enough to go to the party. Downriver, the party's in full swing as boatloads of bass and fans follow their favorite superstars. David Fritz, the hottest pro on the Bassmaster Tournament Trail, is still casting his magic wand and catching bass, much to the delight of his fans and followers. There's no doubt who this crew is rooting for to win Superstars 2. Hank Parker just missed by ounces taking the big prize last year and started this morning only one pound 15 ounces off the lead. Thank you. 
O.T. Fears the third of Oklahoma has been fishing the BASS tour for over 10 years, but only lately attracted a lot of attention. He qualified for superstars by winning the South Carolina Invitational with 77 pounds, four ounces, the largest winning weight for a three-day high bass limit tournament in Bassmaster history. And he's still on a roll. The spinnerbait with a bright chartreuse skirt is one key to catching bass in the off-color water. The other is keeping it wet. With all the boat traffic, the numbers of bass being caught in the slough is truly amazing. David Fritz has hooked another keeper. Yesterday's leader, Jimmy Houston, is an expert with a spinnerbait, but maybe following several tough acts at today's wave. Fishing has been slow in his backwater canals. He ain't that, but I'll sure take you. At the day two weigh-in, Jimmy offers an explanation as to why the bass didn't bite. But Waymaster Ray Scott's not buying it. I didn't have much water in there to begin with. Uh, it was only a couple foot deep. And, uh, Excuse me, Jimmy. Man, let's weigh these two. We don't want to lose anything. You need all the help you can get. Tell me about it. I need a lot. <laughs> to mark it. <clears throat> well, Continue with your excuse, please. The, uh, it's not an excuse. It's a reason. The only... <laughs> With Jimmy out of the driver's seat, the Superstars 2 race is wide open, and Hank Parker may take over the pole position. Nice. I think I caught 19 or so keepers today, but I just couldn't get a three-pound bite, and I think that's what I'm going to need to win this thing. All right, you wait. Let's go to the scales. He needs nine pounds and 13 ounces to take the I beg your pardon, nine, three to take the lead. Nine pounds, eight, eight, nine pounds, nine ounces. Mark it. There he is. He takes the lead. Lead belongs to Hank Parker with 19 pounds, six ounces. And there's only one angler left to weigh in today. OT, do you think you got it? Uh, it's gonna be close, Ray. It's gonna be real close. Five bass, let's go to scales quickly. He needs 815 to take the lead. OT Fears of Salisaw, Oklahoma. And he's done it, folks. Nine pounds. You think you can win this tournament? You bet. Don't go away. The Superstars 2 tournament is far from over. OT Fears leads, but only by ounces. Less than two pounds separates the top seven anglers. Now it comes down to five bass and a prayer for a big bite tomorrow. Stay on board. The Bassmasters are coming right back. Oh, son of a... The final round. Does tournament leader O.T. Fears feel any pressure? The first day and I had a three and a half pounder. Uh, yesterday I lost one about that size. So if I can catch one or two like that today, then the pressure's on everyone else to catch me. Boat traffic is a potential problem for Hank Parker. But today's Saturday, so I assume there'll probably be more boat traffic than it was. And if the silt gets too bad, I think it'll probably end my chances. O.T. Fears has plenty of time to think over his game plan. He won't make a cast for an hour and a half, but less than two minutes of fishing produces a strike. Number one. Three things are key to O.T. Fears catching fish in this muddy ditch. His 3 8 ounce bulldog spinnerbait features a bright red blade, and he's using a crawdad spray scent. The lure has high visibility and blade vibrations. O.T. believes the bass are holding out on the ends of logs and treetops. One reason them fish have moved off the shore is because of the waves and, and the mud and the pounding they've been taking for the last couple of days. Hmm. Hmm. That ain't no carp. Get in here, baby. The spinnerbait is definitely the lure of choice. It's paying off for Hank Parker in the same slough. Yes. David Fritz is trying something different. He's fishing flat mud banks, areas the other competitors may not be fishing. There's no visible cover, but the bass are here. Running the flat mud banks is working for Hank Parker, too. He's catching keeper-sized bass. But if he's going to win, Hank needs a big bite, and soon. 
Local fishermen talk of five pound bass here, but O.T. Fears three pound six ounce fish is the largest of the tournament until now. O.T.'s prayers are answered if he can land this one. Oh, son of a God. Oh, this is the one I've been looking for. Good. Come here, sweetheart. Hank Parker has changed tactics. He's pitching a jig and pig in heavy cover. Yeah. A big fish bait in a Woo. big fish spot. The biggest fish I've caught, yeah. Superstars 2, the final weigh-in. And it's playing quite well in Peoria, thank you. With over 9,000 fans cheering their favorites, the Bassmaster Superstars take their bows on center stage. George, a great job. Good. Thank you. Had a good day today, caught a lot of fish, but I never did get a good kicker. All right, you wait today. You have to have 10 pounds and five ounces to catch it. And folks, he took the lead, 10-10. 10 pounds, 10 ounces, George Parker. Last year, Hank Parker had the Superstars $50,000 prize almost in his pocket. But Denny Brower picked it. Hank's fans are more than eager for him to weigh in. He's got to have eight pound pounds and three ounces. He'll win this tournament. If you want to stand up, stand up. Let's everybody stand up. We just got two people more to go. There's a pound and six ounces. He's got to have a limit. That's the first thing. Got to have a limit. There's your, there's your winner right there. That bass put him in. One, yeah, is that three or four? That's four. He's got to have eight pound pounds and three ounces. He'll win this tournament. There you are. That'll put him over. That'll be it. That guarantee. That's got it. That'll do it. That will put him over. Hank Parker. Hank, I don't even want to talk to we wait. Don't want to just wait a while to weigh him and talk a while? Yeah, we well, can do whatever you want to, right? I'll leave you. All right, put him on there. I'm ready. Is the limit? Five bass. He needs eight three to take the lead. Ten pounds. Ten thirteen. Mark it. Bingo! This is close. O.T. Fear is the last man in the lineup and the leader from yesterday. He's got to have 10 pounds and three ounces to win this tournament. O.T. Fears. The folks, is if it's $50,000 or you're forgotten, that's what it's like. He's got to have 10 pounds and three ounces. Otherwise, Hank Parker is finally the champion of this tournament. That's a good fish, but that is not one that will win. That will not make it. $50,000. Don't knock a scale off that bass. That's another one. That ain't no help. Folks, I tell you, I don't think he's going to make it. Nothing won't make it, do we? I don't think he's done it. None of those fish will go two pounds, right? No, he got to have 10-3. Well, anyway, I, they don't let Hank go too far. Well, let's give him a good hand, folks. That's it. No, he's going back. He's got one more. Do you reckon he's sandbagging? He's got to have a big kicker, right, to, to win this tournament. A big kicker. He's got about six and a half, seven pounds right now. There he is. That could be. I mean, he could do it. This is gonna be a showdown. That might do it. It's so close. He's gotta have 10 pounds and three ounces. It's gonna, I've never seen anything closer. What a day. Thank you. OT, Hank Parker's already in. He set the, he set the day for you. That's true. Uh, let's put him on a scale and see what we have. Won't be in any rush. Let's try to enjoy the moment. <laughs> I'm ready. You don't wanna lose any water, do you? No. All right, don't waste. I don't want to take five bass, all alive. He's got to have 10 three. Watch him close. 10 pounds, 11 pounds, eight ounces. There's your winner, Superstar OT. Uh, <laughs> big bass. Listen, folks, watch it. Big bass, four pounds and two ounces. There's a the kicker. There's a the kicker. That's what it's about. Praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord's right. A shining new star, O.T. Fears, the winner and champion of Bassmaster Superstars 2, with a weight of 31 pounds, 9 ounces. Hank Parker, for the second time, is runner-up.
O.T. Fears Big Fish, the four pound, two ounce kicker, made the difference. This special episode of the Bassmasters Superstars 2 from Peoria, Illinois, has been brought to you by Johnson Outboards, the power of experience. Bill Lewis Lures, the rattle trap people. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Berkeley Power Bait, fish bite and won't let go. Chevy Trucks, the most dependable, longest lasting trucks on the road. Jerseys, America's active wear. Team Dial, designed by the winningest pros on the tournament trail. Bass Pro Shops, the world's largest supplier of premium tackle. Lorenz, setting the course in marine electronics. Wrangler, the official jeans and shirts of the Bassmaster Tournament Trail. And the Bass Angler Sportsman Society, the world's largest bass fishing organization.